my loader go? Oh, there he is. I see him around the corner over there. All right, we got the loader. He's about blocked out. Well, not really blocked out. See the track cutter running down the road. We're done cutting in this spot. Uh, I just got done off the loader over there. I'm fixing to go get on the rubber tire cutter and go help Brady back here in the back. We're fixing to jump the shear back ahead. Um, we only have two more loads for our quota and we'll be done 55 loads for the week. And uh, what else am I missing? John Deere's here. They're repacking a cylinder, a turn cylinder that we didn't, they didn't fix the other day when they was here. They didn't have stuff to fix it. Uh, they have to change a uh, water sensor and the water tank on the uh, John Deere track cutter. So a busy Friday to a degree. We're gonna eat after a while. We're gonna have some chicken and some peach cobbler. And yeah, we, we gonna, truck driver's wife bringing it out to us, our, our new contract truck. So they, uh, we're gonna eat good here in a minute. We're gonna tag y'all along for that. Michael is up here getting his cylinder done. Y'all here, oh, I don't think y'all can see over there. Tire cat skitter going up to access. He's picking up the mats. Here, I'll walk y'all over and show y'all the access, what it looks like, but we're, uh, we're, we're just cleaning this spot up, getting ready to move to back set back here, and we're gonna fill as much of that set up as we can. Uh, I'm not sure. Our truck should be getting close, and if they are, Mickey will load them out of this pile. There's probably six loads in that pile now, and we'll, y'all see, we're, we're just uh, picking up the access. All that's left is around that corner. I don't feel like stepping over all this. But y'all can see down there in mats. That's all they have left. But, uh, so yeah, just a busy morning. Um, I don't know where they took the skitter to go work on it. They probably took it down here to this crossroads. And, uh, we may get some video of them after a while working on the, the track cutter. But, they said we just... Just a Friday wrapping up some quota. Nothing really exciting, just <laughs> just average stuff, I guess you'd say. So, yep. There's our two trucks. Those are our last two trucks for the day. So, we'll get them two guys loaded, and we'll get on. We're gonna make a big pile. Uh, we're gonna make a big pile in that back set back here because it's calling. They're calling for rain Sunday, mostly Sunday. Saturday and Sunday, mostly Sunday. And if we can get a big wood pile back there and this wood pile up here, hopefully we can have somewhere between 10 and 12 loads piled up ahead of the trucks. And if it rains us out of the woods Monday while we're letting the woods run off, we can haul our wood pile up Monday. And then Tuesday we can go back to work in the woods and we won't be missing no loads. So. Thinking ahead there. Thinking with your dipstick, Jimmy. <laughs> so. Uh, y'all just hang tight. Or just, who knows what y'all gonna get in a minute. Y'all, like I always say, it's always good. There's n never anything bad. Sometimes it's a little more boring than normal, but y'all hang tight. We'll be back.
got to change plans. Big old wood pile. There's six for sure. This might be seven loads in this pile here. So we were going to take this loader and put it in the back back here with Mickey. I'm fixing to take y'all back here and show y'all. Uh, I didn't get anything of us eating. Man, it was some good chicken though. But y'all look how wet what Michael might have done covered up. This is where that loader just come out of where I've been setting. Now see how deep these look here. How deep it was coming out, how rotten. <laughs> you see my leg. That's my about halfway up my calf. So that's about a foot deep. It ain't rained in over a week now. And y'all see the water <laughs> that's still pumping up out of the ground. Y'all see over there, that's still got water in it. But anyway, we uh we were gonna put this loader back here with Mickey, make a big wood pile, but we jacked up two loads already for next week. So that's two in the hole. And then we got, I'm gonna just say generously six here. So that's eight. And we're gonna have somewhere between 10 and 12. I'm gonna guess on the 10 side for quota Monday. Uh, so maybe 11, 11 is probably gonna be a more uh, logistical number. So we're gonna try and put three loads in the back back here. So there's six and three is nine, two already loaded. That should be 11. And if we can't, work the woods Monday I'll have at least Monday's wood in the pile and then we can resume working in the woods on Tuesday there's not going to be a whole bunch come up and back here I say not a whole there's going to be a bunch of wood but we're going to run through it fast because it's it's good and we're making hellacious production numbers right now so uh, yeah that's what we're doing we putting this loader here at this wood pile just in case we can't get into that wood pile Monday morning. And we're putting some wood at that pile back there. And if we can't get to that wood pile while I'm working on drying that road out Monday, we can be loading this wood in this set. Gotta think a little bit. <laughs> it's one thing with logging, you gotta think way ahead. We'll be back in a second. We're gonna go find Mickey back here, see what he's got going on.
breaking the limbs out of the center. He's trying to fuzz him tops up. See how it, as the wood cook, compressed on itself, it snaps those limbs on the inside that the knives wasn't getting. This looks like a new, a new, a new row started by the scatter. It hadn't been really run over much. He finishes this row, this drag, and we'll, we'll wrap her up. you say you can do in a week come out here call get, get in touch with me I'll put my loader man against anybody out of there Get our book, take it over here to the loader, but I'm not gonna call it an outstanding week. It's a damn good week for everything we had happen this week. We ended up with 55. I thought we was gonna end up with 56, but apparently instead of giving me an extra load, they were just swapping me a load. So we uh we're wrapping our stuff up, we're shutting down, we're going to the house. We've had a, a good week production-wise. Tore up entirely too much stuff this week. Makes me be better though. I can feel it. And uh, we're gonna go home and find something to do. I might actually come out tomorrow. I need to pressure wash at 853. It's uh, it changed that one hydraulic filter on it for me, and it's it got oil everywhere. But real quick on that, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this real quick. I keep forgetting about it. John Deere stuff. We buy a service package with them. And that includes all the oil, the filters, everything. For every service interval that machine's supposed to have done to it, to 8,000 hours. The skidder has it, the track cutter has it, both the skidders and the track cutter that we have from John Deere on the other job has it. It increases your resale value. Yeah, I can do it. I don't mind doing it. I don't mind doing that kind of stuff. Uh, and that's why I don't have them just send me a filter and I put it on that track machine myself because we paid them to do that and it includes the service truck coming and everything else. It's a up front, it's a big number, it's a scary number, but it uh it's worth it in the end. Um it's given given us some extra reassurance that we know all the fluids and the filters and everything. I mean, everything. Any, any. If, if it says at 2,000 hours you're supposed to have a valve job ran on it, they they adjust the valves for it. If it says it's supposed to plant, change planetary oil, they change planetary oil. They do everything that needs to be done. But anyway, guys, appreciate everybody so much for all the views, support, everything like that. Hopefully, y'all are gonna have a great weekend. Whether y'all watch this on Saturday or Sunday, I'm not sure. And uh, y'all go make sure y'all go like the channel. I like the video. I say that every time. I get that from Facebook. Uh, my bad, guys. Anyway, go like the video, subscribe to the channel, and smash that like button for me. I'd appreciate it a bunch. And uh, oh, and go leave me a comment down below. Tell me what y'all like most about this video. I don't. 
I just kind of had the GoPro with me all day long and anything I thought might would be cool looking, I click record. So anyway, uh, I just appreciate y'all so much. And uh, until the next video, we'll catch y'all next time.